that's fascinating about the arts in Evanston and our arts community is, is uh, by my reckoning, just the breadth and the depth of it. We've got artists who are working out of studios in their basements or an extra bedroom. We've got artists who are creating large sculpture. We've got artists who are doing really interesting street art, public art that's more uh, the pop-up kind of art that I really like. Uh, everything from visual artists, sculptors, uh, dancers, uh, theater artists. And how various uh, people in different ways have come together to create art. You know, very often what happens is people feel like they are not artists, but they all have that creative ability, that innate way of being, uh, of creating something, of making something. One of the things that's really wonderful here, there's community-based art and there's also the fine art and sort of the gamut in between. And so there's an opportunity, I think, for anybody to really plug in, regardless of what their kind of what their proclivities and experience level is. I came to Evanston about five years ago in 2010. I do sculptures made out of garbage, uh, recycled materials, and clay. I created a mural in, in Dewey School and Berkeley connected me with Nan Stein from Dewey School and she invited me to work with her in, in a project about uh, the Hispanic Heritage, for the Hispanic Heritage Month. The work that was done by the Dewey School community with the artist Piloto included students, teachers, custodians. It was a very wonderful, awesome experience to me. I helped create for painting the clay images and I did some basic background on the painting. Anybody that was in the building passing by his in-hallway studio. So in the mural you will see um, a girl and, and a boy and the world in one side. The center of the piece is this girl that is closing her eyes, is like looking inside of her. Each kid made uh, a circle. Uh, they made textures and we were talking to the kids about community and about that everything comes in a circle. That's why they made a little circle. Uh, we are part of a whole. We are all one. Para mí, este mural representa la esperanza y uh, la idea de comunidad y unidad, que somos uh, diferentes, pero al mismo tiempo somos una comunidad que está conectado entre nosotros. I think what's fascinating about the uh, arts community in Evanston is um, just how passionate people are about the arts. You never have to uh, uh, convince people about the value and the importance of the arts. Um, usually if they're not out there supporting it as much, they're feeling guilty because uh, they know how important it is. Art! What's up, guy? Have you been home for a while? I didn't see, what, were you in your room? Hi, usually you come on now and give me a hug. What's really fascinating is the tenacity of uh, very gifted artists and the diversity of artists, uh, especially as they're housed here in, at Noise. And um, when I say tenacity, I mean these are artists who have hung in for years, as we have. Dance Center Evanston started 22 years ago. It was a very small organization and has grown to become um, almost an institution within the community in that it really is a home for dance and for dance training. And within two years, I was seeing um, a group of dancers working on such a high level with such a level of commitment that I thought that they were really ready for the next challenge, which is to be working within a professional a working atmosphere, even though they were youth. So I decided to form the Evanston Dance Ensemble. And dummy, and open, and swing. 
I think the Ensemble is a terrific company uh, for young people to uh, work on a professional level. I think it's uh, sometimes you would say, oh, there's just children, let's just do it this way and nice and cute. And no, it's um, giving them the opportunity to work with professionals. And uh, those are going to be the future audience members, the future artists, the future critiques, the future teachers of art. So it's very important to have high standards. One of the first major public art uh, works that I did was called Conversations. And I, I was able to engage all of the, uh, the Evanston community in conversations to begin with, to talk about the, what they wanted for, for themselves and for the city of Evanston. And their words and their symbols that they talked about were inscribed in the chairs that make up the sculpture that's called Conversations and is on uh, Chicago Avenue. My most recent uh, public art piece is the 10,000 Ripples, uh, public art piece and civic engagement. And that has really taken the, the city, um, has really engaged the city, has uh, captured the imagination of very different segments of the city so that uh, so many different people have done different projects. I've, I've done some yarn bombs in Evanston and I've used them to um, highlight a, a new business, create a little enhanced vibe around a new business. We wanted to bring something to Evanston that hasn't been around yet. We saw some galleries here, uh, you know, some, uh, some photography and there were some uh, other galleries that are unfortunately now closed that we were excited about seeing. We really love having this particular space because we work upstairs, Rory and I, and we get to showcase the work of other artists downstairs. So we have rotating exhibitions about every six weeks and we bring in artists in various stages of their careers to expose them to the Chicago community in general, but specifically to Evanston because there's a real um, appreciation for it here that we didn't necessarily find in other places we had lived in the past. Well, you know, Fleetwood Jordan ain't theater. Like I say, I, you know, I, I gotta go back uh, a little bit. You know, we've been around for 36 years. Uh, it started off as the uh, Foster Community Theater, and then it was the Fleetwood Jordan Community Theater, and now we have become this true professional theater uh, that contributes to the art, not just here in the city of Evanston, but in the Chicagoland area. Lonely, she stared into the abyss. See that. She saw nothing, heard nothing. Only the rhythm of her own breathing kept her company. So Fleetwood Jordan continues to contribute as much as we can to the community because that is our responsibility. That's what our goal is. is our mission is to be a part of this community. We're not a community theater anymore, but we are a theater of the community. Everything that we do is based around the open studio process for the most part in some iterations. So um, that is intention driven. We set an intention. We make intuitive process art. We have a writing piece called witness writing, which is really about just being present to what comes up and sort of free writing. And then there's opportunities for people to read aloud what they've written and sort of for people in the group to look at what's been produced. So the burnout rate in a lot of not-for-profit, you know, so social service kinds of situations is well known. And you can't pour from an empty cup. So this is really a way for people to sort of feed themselves, balance themselves, discharge energy that they couldn't otherwise, things that they can't talk about because of confidentiality, for example. Um, so we work with staff, but we also work with their constituents to bring this process to, to those people. And we also have a training program here. We've had people who've contacted us from all over the country and actually from all over the world who are now coming here for training programs to learn how to do this work and take it back to their home communities. 
So we engage a lot of different people at a lot of different levels. Art is the glue for the community, for the greater livability of the city of Evanston. It's not commerce alone that makes for a successful city. The arts in Evanston, I mean, they're a significant contributor to the economy. Uh, our economic development work plan uh, recognizes arts as, a, uh, as, a, as an industry that we need to help retain and attract. Uh, one, because it generates something like $25 million a year in economic benefits, um, close to 700 jobs. Art is this thing, right? Uh, civilization doesn't exist without art. You know, true civilization does not. Um, it is the quality of life that we add to, not the quantity. Art contributes so much to the livability of a community and our quality of life in big and small ways. For example, public art connects us emotionally to our neighborhoods, helps us identify with public spaces. Um, art and shared experiences of theater, dance, and music helps connect us to one another, even when we sometimes don't agree on other things. And um, the arts help us explore difficult topics, things like faith, um, social issues and justice, uh, morality, ethics, and it really helps us determine who we are, both in terms of individuals and as a community.